my Doc Martin delivery has arrived. I am so excited. So I'm just going to do like an unboxing. I bought three pairs because I could not for the life of me decide which ones I like. So now I'm just going to explain to you my pros and cons of all three of the Doc Martin boots that I chose. I'm going to include some try on haul clips as well so you can see what they looked like on me. I'm a size 5 and I've got very very pretty slim feet. So let's start off with the Virginia Pascal boots. And the, the pros of them, if you've got really small feet like me, they are less chunky than the other two boots that I bought. Secondly, they are soft leather so they were really easy to put on, really easy to walk in straight away and they gave quite a nice casual look but for me, I just personally preferred the smooth leather boots. I think they looked a bit more chic, a little bit more... I don't know the word, just a little bit more fancy. I don't know, they just looked a bit more like cool vibes and that was kind of the look that I was going for rather than the casual vibes. Okay, so let's go on to the Bex boots now. These were very similar to the 1460 originals and I found it so, so hard to decide which out of the, the 1460s and the Bex boots. I spent like, <laughs> literally, I'm not even being dramatic, three hours trying to decide which ones I like. So the pros of the Bex boot is smooth leather, so that it gives like that urban, that chic, cool vibe. Um, platform as well, so if you are small, they will give you height. So that is also a positive. Cons of the Bex boots, they're very stiff and I found them harder to put on and I feel like they'd need wearing in so that your foot could get used to it because they are quite stiff. Another con is that they're very, very chunky so if you have got small feet like me, you could look like you're about to enter the police force. That's what I felt like in them. They looked really good and they gave me like a really like rock chick vibe but they were quite chunky on my foot. So then the next and last but not least were the 1460 Smooth Leather Originals in black, they're all in black. Pros is that they're smooth leather again, so you're giving you that urban, that cool, chic vibes. Um, they were easy to get on and then the Bex boots, I didn't feel like they needed to wear it in at all, they weren't too stiff, so I was able to just wear them straight away without any discomfort. They were not as chunky as the Bex boot as well, so for me with petite feet, they didn't look too clunky. Cons of the 1460s is that they, if you are wanting a bit of height, they're not as platformy as the Bex boots. They're similar in platform to the Pascal Virginia boots. The Pascal and the 1460 originals have brown soles, whereas the Bex boot have has a black sole, so if you want an all black shoe look, go for the Bex boots. But I don't, I didn't find any cons with the 1460 originals. I just could not decide between them and the Bex boot. But in the end, I went for the 1460 smooth leather original boots. For me personally, I preferred the smooth leather look, and I, because I have quite small, narrow feet, preferred them to the Bex boots because they didn't make my feet look as chunky. I am absolutely obsessed with my Doc Martens. They are amazing. I can't take them off. I wear them with everything. They look good with skirts. They look good with jeans. They look good with dresses. I would recommend them. I just hope you found this video useful because they all look quite similar. I find it ha quite hard to decide between the three. So I hope you found this video useful if you're trying to decide between three boots that look very similar but have their differences. I might do a Doc Martin lookbook clothing video to see how I style my Doc Martin. So subscribe so you don't miss out on that video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.